Welcome back, Matt here. We're going to go over this week in sales. So it's Friday, March 5th, and I've been having like like two items sell per day this week, which has been pretty cool. There hasn't been enough to make a video of just, you know, one day of the things, but I'd rather have have it like that. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to work on this during the week as it is. So just having a few things to be able to ship out real quick works out well for me. But it's nice to get some steady sales. So I'm going to go over each one kind of break down uh, what I paid for it. And you'll see how much I sold it for. The first item is a Motorola Roadster 2, which is a Bluetooth speaker and car finder. I got it at the bins. Electronics are 69 cents a pound, so I'm probably 69 cents into it, maybe. I just saw that it was new and still sealed, so I scanned it and seen what it was selling for. And it went for $54 plus shipping. The next item is an Oregon State Beavers license plate frame. Uh, this wasn't a good buy. I got a couple dollars into it at the from the where did I get that? Salvation Army. Uh, and I put free shipping on it, so I'm making a few bucks. Is whatever, whatever it says, nine ninety nine plus shipping, eight ninety nine, whatever it is. Next item is this Rawlings baseball mitt. Uh, sold it for sixteen ninety nine free shipping. A couple dollars into it, uh, shipped in a padded envelope, so I'm making seven bucks, six bucks on it or so. Um, I bought a few baseball mitts recently just to force myself to learn about them. And I've learned how to measure them. I've learned, you know, what the break is. Uh, different, some of the different materials that they use to make them. The cowhide, rawhide. Um, how they have different, um, like, web patterns for the to catch it. Stuff like that. I just wasn't, didn't know anything, really, what to look for from it. So I bought a few to force myself to learn. And this one sold the other day. Next is this lot of uh, South Park VHS tapes. Um, found these at the bins, so dollar fifty, two dollars into them. Uh, all my VHS and cassette tapes, I, I state that I haven't tested them. Sold as is. One of these was actually broken. The little top flap, the one of the ends was broken off, so the whole piece would come off. I had pictures of that in the listing. But these sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Next is this little insulated cup, wine glass thing. I found it at the bins, so I'm, I don't know, 50 cents into it. Um, I just saw that it was new, so I scanned it and looked, seeing what it was selling for. Uh, shipping was about four bucks, so let's say I'm four fifty five dollars into it. Uh, it sold for nineteen ninety nine free shipping. So just always scan new products, see what they're worth. Next is this little pencil box. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It's just a cardboard, a vintage NASA pencil box. Got it at the bins. To, you know, it weighs nothing. 25 cents into it. I sold for $14 plus shipping, I believe. I charged shipping for it. I've had it for a few weeks, but it finally sold. And then we've all been on the lookout for those Dr. Seuss books up until, I guess, eBay banned selling them, which is ridiculous. So I went through all of our books. So we have a big shelf full of books. You can see I went through all the Dr. Seuss ones. And I found one of the Saw It on Mulberry Street books. I listed it and it sold within a half hour for $200. I'm hoping there's no issues. I sold it before they banned it on eBay. I'm hoping that there's no retroactive issues on selling it, which would be ridiculous. I think the whole the whole thing's ridiculous. But anyways, uh, I actually had one, and I sold it. I've went to a few other thrift shops, but I haven't been able to find any. Um, there's there's always ways around it. You don't have to sell it on eBay. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty cool. Definitely the the big sale of the week of the month. Next is a cool little figure. So I've had um, some of the Butch Vision Donut Killers, which is Homer Simpson 
as Michael Myers, you know, in the jumpsuit and mask. And and there was this when I used to collect all that stuff, there was this dude that bought a bunch of his blanks and made customs. So this is one of the customs that's actually um that like they had Jason one and that mask he used like puff paint. And you can actually peel the mask off and his face is all messed up and it looks really cool. I sold this for forty dollars free shipping. I mean, I probably paid 25, 30 bucks for it, so I'm not really making much on it. But again, just old stuff I'm getting rid of. Next is this uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre signed poster, a little kind of mini poster I got from Bam Box. I don't remember if it came in a monthly box or if it was an extra thing that I bought. If I did, I would have, uh, I would have probably paid maybe up to thirty dollars for it. I don't remember. Uh, I sold for fifty bucks free shipping. And the next thing is the first for me. Um, I'll probably blame Harry Tornado for <laughs> all those golf clubs he bought. It made me start looking into them. Um, so it's the first. I, I bought like four putters at Goodwill the other day. I actually took the time to stop and look some of them up. Uh, I bought this for $3. The Titleist um, Bullseye. I think it's just a, a vintage brass head putter. Again, a new item for me that I'm learning about. I'm learning about the... Oh, I forgot what they called it already. The angle of the head and all that stuff. Still still trying to learn that stuff. So I know how to measure and what to look for and what how to how to actually list it correctly. Uh, but I bought this for 3 bucks and it sold really quick for 20 bucks plus shipping. Got this Louisville Slugger mitt the other day. I believe at the bins, so... I'm probably, I didn't get, let me see, what day was that? So that day I paid the full price, the two nineteen a pound, because I didn't get over 25 pounds, so I'm a couple bucks into it. Uh, sold for $25 plus shipping. Going back and forth with the buyer bit, I had it listed for 30. They were offering me 20. I went 25, and they were kind of back and forth. But the reason was I had the, there. I'm on the West Coast, they're on the East. I had it listed the shipping by weight instead of just a padded flat rate envelope so once i changed it to that they accepted the 25 dollar offer and it went out and that was going to be it for the video which is a, a good week for me a great week um uh oh, oh, let me get that just light out here both as number of sales and the, the cost obviously that mulberry book that dr seuss book put me way over <clears throat> but i actually had just had another few orders come in so if anybody watched my last video where i unboxed the SGC uh, submission that I got, I sold these two Garbage Pail Kid cards. It's uh, the new Topps Chrome Series 3 Adam Burn Refractor, SGC 9. And the Adam Apple with the Booger Green Border, uh, 35th Anniversary, and the SGC 10. And those sold for $69.99 plus shipping. And then I sold this Flyers um, hockey puck. Uh, got this at the bins, uh, 50 cents, 75 cents into it. It sold for, I took an offer. I had it listed for like $4.50 or something. Um, I just grabbed it. I thought it was cool. I didn't look up comps on it. Uh, uh, but I accepted an offer of $3 plus shipping. I also sold um, from my Etsy shop one of my Kiro shirts for $19.99 free shipping. Uh, material wise, I'm probably four or five bucks into each shirt. Um, it takes me you know, a couple minutes to press it up to grab the shirt out and um, iron it out, make sure it's all good. Um, press it on there. They're, they're heat, uh, heat they're, um, screen printed heat transfers. Uh, so I'm probably between that and shipping, I'm probably nine dollars into each shirt. So I make about ten bucks before fees and all that. So yeah, I'm actually getting, you know, I, I'm I need to focus more on my Etsy shop. I just don't do it. I've been trying to build my eBay up, but it's good to have, you know, I've had you know, a couple orders in the last few weeks, so it's pretty cool. And that's it for the week. Again, it's been a really good week. Um, I do have one that I'm dealing with. Well, I have one a, a buyer hasn't paid yet. It's just a small pin, so not really anything. 
Then I have one, an item that I shipped out and it was delivered last month, about exactly a month ago. And they're saying they never received it. Um, it's kind of interesting, so I'm waiting to deal with that. But yeah, so so those funds that I originally got might be pulled out this next week. If, whatever. But I think eBay will just cover it. They'll figure it out. Um, that's it. I listed like 10 things yesterday. So I'm feeling good. I'm not going to go to the bins today, though. It's Saturday. The whatever. What's the date today? Oh my goodness, the 6th, that's what it was. Saturday the 6th, I usually like to go to the bins on the weekends, maybe I'll go tomorrow morning, um, there's just too much to do around the house today, uh, maybe I'll go, it's like 6 in the morning, I'm going to work out, and then if I get the house cleaned up, maybe I can catch Salvation Army right when they open at 10, that's where I've been going lately, a couple times a week, is Salvation Army, and it's been really good. But oh, always got more stuff to list. Got these two bins. Some of the stuff I'm holding and waiting till I get more of to do a lot of things. That bag. That bag has hats that are already listed. So, that bag. My <laughs> trying to do this in reverse. That bag. Um, and then I have this stuff down here. More stuff here to list. So. That hat, you know, stuff like that. There's always something to do. So, anyways, it's been a good week. Hope everyone else's week has been great. Hope everyone has a great weekend. eBay shop below, Etsy shop below, all the social media. Stop by, say hi, lock, lock, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. God bless. Signing out.